Next up at UFC Paris, we have Volkan Ozdemir taking on Bogdan Guskov. Volkan Ozdemir is 18 and 7 overall, 2 and 3 in his last five. He is coming off the loss to Nikita Krylov. He's taking on Bogdan Guskov. Bogdan Guskov is 14 and 2 overall, 4 and 1 in his last five, and he is riding a four fight stoppage streak into his UFC debut. Vulcan is a forward pressure striker. He's got legit power, legit volume. He throws his hands hard. He throws them at a solid rate. He does have miserable takedown accuracy at only 28%. And that can be an issue because if he's losing the striking exchanges, his chin isn't going to keep him in that fight, and neither can his wrestling. He's 6-6 six and six in the UFC, but the competition has been interesting. All of his losses were to quality people like Jiri. Daniel Cormier, Ankolaev, and his six losses, his overall six losses, were to two champions and three title challengers. He's taking on Bogdan Guskov. This guy's a heavy-handed guy. He likes to come forward. He wants to throw heavy. He's going to mix things up. When he's striking, he can be fast, and he can have some very real power. He keeps his hands low, but he's got decent footwork and nice combinations. If he doesn't get the early knockout or have enough success striking, he will work you to the cage, and he will get a takedown. On top, he has incredible patience, really nice control. He's going to ride you out while striking but he's not going to get overly aggressive. It looks like everything he does hurts. This is a really tough fight to pick because Volkan Ozdemir, I, I, I think his chin is pretty much gone, right? And if I'm going off of just film, if I'm just watching like how this person fights versus how this person fights, I got to go Bogdan all day long. He comes out there. You can tell he hits hard. You can tell he's well-rounded. You can tell he's good at all these things. You watch Vulcan, and yes, he is good. He's busy. He also hits hard, but he gets dropped. He can be a bit chinny. His takedowns are not very good. But then if I zoom out and I look at the level of competition, it's like, okay, I guess it is hard to look good against Daniel Cormier. It's hard to look good against... G well, actually, everybody looks good against Jiri Prohashka for at least some period of time. But, you know, it does get a little harder when I factor in all of those other things. I'm still going to go the dog here. Um, I still like, I bet on Bogdan to win uh, just a little bit, just a couple of dollar rootskies. Um, I think Bogdan's going to get it done because he can come forward. He can hit like a freight train. He can make other stuff happen. And if his chin holds up, well then, you know, Vulcan has, if Vulcan, if Bogdan's chin holds up, Vulcan doesn't have a backup plan. He's stuck swinging with a guy that hits as hard as Bogdan does. So Bogdan's going to be the pick, but you know, it, it's it's a hard pick to make considering Vulcan and his level of competition. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Oh, my God. You apologize for that? That kind of just threw me off a little bit. I I'm didn't so know sorry. what was about to happen. I'm so sorry. I almost just started talking about how Tiago Moises is going to smoke Benoit right, let's St. Go. Denis. Let's but, uh, go. Listen, I, th this is a fight that I believe is going to be over pretty quick. I think it's going to be one of the first or couple exchanges because both these guys throw heavy, both these guys throw hard. Bogdan does bring the pressure, the pace. He is a very confident guy. When he, I mean, there is no lack of confidence in this guy. You can tell he lands one shot and the hands go from here to his hips and he's like, all right, I fucking got you now. Fuck it. He literally yeah. is like, I got you now. He's coming forward with, the, I mean, hands low and he says, I'm just going to knock this guy out. And against a guy like Vulcan, you don't want to do that because this guy is equally as powerful and his counter punching is very, very precise. I have no doubt in my mind that Vulcan is the better fighter. But when you got big guys, and these aren't heavyweights, but they kind of fight like heavyweights. When you got these big guys that are going to stand in the pocket and they want to counter each other and they want to throw against each other, you know, sometimes the better fighter just isn't going to win that fight. I mean, as you mentioned, it just comes down to chin at some point. So I think that they get after it early. I think that there definitely is a finish. I played the under one and a half, and I feel pretty good about it with the value. Um, you know, my pick is going to be Vulcan just because I think he is the more tactical striker, and I like his counter striking. He has good power on his counter strikes. I do think that Bogdan's gonna, gonna, going to be in his face. Um, if he can land the shot first, he can definitely win. I understand the value play that Angelo sees. It's definitely a, a, a coin toss fight, and you're getting better value than, than a coin toss um, for Angelo's side. So uh, my picks would be Vulcan, but you know, I, I just think it's over quick, and that's all I'm really worried about. Yeah, I mean, the and Bogdan's chin may hold up. We just don't know enough yet. That's what's hard about all these UFC debuts is who knows, man? He's 14-2 and two against who? who? Great looking guy, though. You could go through... dude. I like his eyebrows. Of, the amount of Anthony Smith comments. Is, it's so funny, man. 
I messed up a graphic earlier. I wrote 662 significant strikes. 200 comments about that. 200 comments about Bogdan looks like Anthony Smith. It's just so funny to see those themes. I don't think he looks anything like him. It's funny to see those themes pop out. Anyway. Um, Me and him have similar, similar builds. Yeah, no, very, very similar. The um, What's interesting about the Bogdan thing, though, is, I mean, if you look through his topology and who he's fought, it's like, uh, you couldn't it's recognize a who's the name who's if you tried. It's a who's <laughs> who of the fucking homeless shelter. Yeah, like you could not recognize a name if you tried. And then you look at Vulcan, it's like, oh, okay, I recognize every single one of these names. And he was the, fucking up Krylov. I mean, he f- was fucking him up. Yeah. The the only reason... Yeah, Kane. I see... Yeah, Kane is definitely... I see Kane. More than... More well, than the, uh, the WWE wrestler. Um... <laughs> One of the It'll best be, entrances. Uh, I mean, that theme song. Holy shit! It was I was legit. Too. Were you legit scared of? I was legit scared of Kane. Legit yeah, scared for a of Kane. While. Well, they did that whole backstory that he was burned in a building. And I know, and then he's like, "Oh my god, he's oh my yeah." God, the other thing is brother, child. and then it's like, "Holy shit!" And all of a sudden, they started teaming up. It's like, who the fuck is it gonna beat Undertaker and Kane? You can't fucking tag they, team. Are you kidding me? It's funny too because it's like you knew wrestling was fake. Like I, I pretty much knew wrestling was fake my whole life. I don't know, but you man. still I, I, you still start to they like they do the theme. It's like well, it is fake, but that is his brother though. They really are brothers. Like you know, you just like start to buy into some of the bullshit. It's so funny. I loved it. I loved it. I was more of a definitely more of a WCW guy than WWF. I was I was Goldberg, Diamond Dallas Page, Sting. You know all those guys when NWO started. Oh my God, that was that that literally my life has gone downhill since the NWO split, and then it's the Wolfpack versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You know, I was just I was all Wolfpack all the way, baby. Oh. Loved it. Man. I I used to love uh, a Booker T. I was a big Booker T fan for yeah. a while there. But uh, I I was at like like I saw the peak of wrestling <sighs> when it was you know uh, Stone Cold and The Rock like the true peak, and then it's like eh, now I'm too old, and then that was it. Yeah, that's when I, I kind of phased out too. I never saw like uh, Brock Lesnar or fucking anybody like that. So they said at the time. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin sold more t-shirts than like anybody else in history Austin not just wrestling history baby. more than like any football jersey can more, you like, dig it suck up <laughs> alright anyway um, I do think this is a must play in DraftKings because to Jacob's point one of these dudes is going to win by finish has to has to Vulcan is very very dangerous Bogdan is very very dangerous I'm just going to trust Bogdan's chin over Vulcan's, and I think he's going to get it done, but shit, man. These two are just going to go at it. Are you going to trust Vulcan in your DraftKings lineup? Uh, cash games. Yeah, there you go. We want picks.com. Click become a member to unlock everything you need to have some success watching these fights.